Hi, welcome back to Wix 101 with me, Esther X, aka Style by Esther. Today, I'm going to be showing you a basic roller set. I'm using this shorter wig, which I was going to style up as was, because I wanted it to be like a Marilyn kind of Marilyn Monroe esque kind of thing but this has got that modern curl in it so i'm going to reset this one i thought it'd be perfect a shorter wig is a bit easier this set you can do with any length of wig just keep in mind that the length of the hair will um change the curl obviously because there'll be less weight pulling the curl down yeah but we'll get into that in other videos and advanced styling videos i like to use basic roller set two sizes of rollers a bigger one at the top and the front hairline and then going smaller to the back. Just want to get your choose if you're choosing what part you want to do, left or right, up to you. Uh, like three fingers is what I like to say away from the center hairline. If you go too close, it just looks odd and the parting's in a weird spot and it just it just looks weird. You gotta think about think about the overall look. In regards to putting rollers in and what rollers to use. You can go watch the Tools of the Trade video, which I go through the different rollers that I have and that I prefer to use and the reasons why. So you can go and use them there. Today, I'm gonna to use probably a bit of a mixture. Um, I think I'm gonna use the, for this particular style that I'm doing, the yellow size of the Velcro rollers and then the blue size. So they're only slightly different. Um, for the style I'm going for uh, the Marilyn, I could use these, but they're probably a little bit too tight and that'll end up being a bit more um, Afro-y kind of curl, like a tighter curl, which I want it to be a bit looser. One thing I do want to mention, which you saw me whack the head <laughs> before, sometimes these spin around. Newbie clamps, um, the plastic, they're quite slippery. The inside of these wig blocks is a shiny plastic as well so they tend to want to spin around once the rollers in it's a bit hard but this is a extra hot tip for this video <laughs> to avoid your wig block spinning around which is really annoying when you're trying to style it and put rollers in and do everything what you need to do is get some masking tape and wrap your masking tape around the wig clamp a few times and then that'll add some extra friction and grip and then sometimes it's still wobbly, you need to give it a whack on the head. And that is why I can't style real people's hair anymore because I just want to whack them on the head. <laughs> Plus, I forget that they're not real people and I tend to hurt them when I'm teasing their hair or, or putting rollers in. Um, so yeah, you can let your aggression out too. It's good, it's good for that, but yeah. And that's that's secures it. So that's your hot tip for this video. All right, well, the next video is going to be steaming. Oh, put this back. How to steam a wig and set those curls in place perfectly and the way I like to do it, the way that I believe is the best way to do it. Um, but other than that, thank you very much. Have a lovely day and we'll see you in the next video. Um, as well, you falling asleep, Russell? I'm, I'm not. I told you I'm not feeling well. <laughs> I know. It's cute. Do you want to go to bed? The beach is full. Go to bed because you're creaking on your chair. Yeah, no. <laughs> They'll just go like socks. They're just like socks. T pins. Any pins. Bobby pins. They just disappear. Just, yeah. <sighs> okay, next.